Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy the F double O T I to the big E here once again with another video. Now, this video, I haven't done one of these for a while, uh, and it's a Man United related video. And the reason why I haven't done one for a while is Man United of late have just been not Louis Van Gaal level, but not far off of it. So things haven't been going well at United um of late. Um obviously we had them three Games on the bounce in September that we lost against Man City, uh, fire all the way, and then we not, well lost another league game straight after that again, and things started looking a bit bleak again. Um, then we had a little turnaround of fortune. We smashed Leicester four one, and then last night at Liverpool we got a nil nil draw. So the thing behind this video for me is I'm going to be brutally honest here and. Most of you guys know, if you watch the channel, I am quite brutally honest, but Man United are not going to win the title this year. Let's just count that out now. Man United are winning no titles this year. Um, I think Mourinho's got a big job on his hands. The squad still doesn't look good enough. Um, you know, if you go back years ago when Fergie last won the title, um, that squad he won the title was probably his biggest achievement because that wasn't a great squad either. Um, Robin Van Persie's goals got him across the line for the title. And it's been a long time since we've had a solid squad. Like, the last time we had a solid squad was when we had, like, Patrice Evra, Rio Ferdinand, Vidic, then you had Skulls in midfield with Giggs, with... Uh, Carrick, and then you had Rooney up top, you know, and that was a, quite a solid team of world-class players. Now it's it's not so much world-class anymore. Um, we're missing a lot of things. I know we've got Slatan. I know we've got Pogba. Pogba's not firing. Um, Pogba's not caught up with the pace of the Premier League yet. He's had a handful of good games, if that, since he's been back. Um there's no pace still. There's no wing play. There's no pace. Martial is another one. Martial last season was probably the only bright things about Manchester United season last year. And Martial this season does not look like half the player he was. At the minute, the only one for me that's really, really doing well is De Gea again. And, and Herrera, for me, is doing a great job, but now he's been brought into the team. I still don't understand why Fellaini's in the team. Um... Whatever this falling out with Luke Shaw against Watford, um, which was the third loss on the bounce. Um, I don't know what's going on there with, with Luke Shaw. All right, he made a mistake when, let, when their goals um, go past him on the overlap and whatnot. But Luke Shaw should be playing. Um, Luke Shaw is probably one of the best left-backs in the country, or in my books, is the best left-back in the country. Um, English player, anyway. Um, so the fact that we're not playing him is a concern. Um and there's just a million things that are concerning me at the minute. Now, last night against Liverpool, I wasn't surprised with what Jose did. I wasn't surprised that Jose went out there and parked the bus and said, you know what, F this, we're not losing, we're going to stick to these tactics. If we can take a sneaky win, we'll take it. If we can't, we'll hold out for the draw. He's done that on many occasions. He's done that a couple of years ago when Chelsea came to United and he played no forwards. He didn't play one forward in the whole team of Chelsea and he came for a draw and that's what he got. Um, and this is exactly what happened yesterday. Jose said at the beginning he was going to be like the Ferguson mentality. He knew what Manchester United was about. And I don't know anymore um, if, 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 he, if he does actually believe what he was saying. Was it all promises? Because when Jose came in, he was nicely shaven, nice haircut, looked full of life. And now we're about, what, we're two, three months back into the season and he looks fed up, he's moaning already, he's moaning about referees, he's got growth on his face, he looks like he hasn't combed his hair in a week, and he looks like a man who has aged six years in three months. Um, so, Man United is a work in progress, we're going through a transitional period, it's not going to be a quick one, this one is going to be... A bit like the Fergie one where we went three years without the title, but Fergie was building and building and building every season, bringing in people like Ronaldo, Rooney, etc. Um, 
And I think there was a lot of players that's been brought in in the last three years that we could do without. Fellaini can go um, amongst others. And there needs to be a real builder structure. I mean, Phil Jones, what, he's been injured for what, three years. Um, he can go. And there needs to be a lot of more talent brought in and a squad built. And Jose needs to build his squad himself. Um, I would hope that after now Man United have given him so much money on this contract that they give him time. I'm just, I'm not downhearted on Jose, but he looks really fed up. And and the style of Man United's play lately is not good. Apart from us smashing Leicester, which was a massive high, we haven't really had no highs. We we pummeled Stoke for 90 minutes, and they got a 1-1 draw. Um, we should have been seven goals up by the time they scored the one. Um, we've missed opportunities. There's been other games where we've been so off the pace. And it's... I don't know what it is. I don't even know what the answer is. And then this week, we've had Liverpool last night. We've got Fenerbahce on Thursday. And then we've got Chelsea on Sunday away. They're not going to be easy games. And I'll be honest with you, I'm fearing the worst. I'm waiting for when Mkhitaryan comes back into the team. And maybe he can start creating things. Because I think... Um, Hander Herrera now is solid, leaving where he is, in front of the back four, he was solid last night, he's been playing well when he's been in the team, he stays in the midfield, Pogba he stays because of the amount of money we paid for him, he has to play, um, but I think he's more better free roaming, and Mkhitaryan in front of him would be better, Wayne, unfortunately for Wayne now, he would never get back into my team, I've got to be brutally honest there. And even Slatan doesn't look like the Slatan that we had two months ago when he was firing all the cylinders. He looks a bit fed up and a bit tired and weary, but I'm not going to sugarcoat this, people. We are not going to win the Premier League. It is not good enough. And don't be surprised if Man United don't win the league for a good couple of years. If I was Jose now, I'd be happy with fourth place, um, get us back into the Champions League where the money is, and, yeah, be happy with that. Um, so... I just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on how I feel Man United, Man United doing of late because I haven't done these videos for a while. Um, so that's just my thoughts on Man United in the last couple of games or the last couple of months since I've done my last video. And yeah, this was your boy F-O-O-T-I to the big E. I'm sure Man United will turn it around. We'll go through a good spell. It just, at the minute, we're just missing that click and that spark. And I'm sure when we get that, we'll be on our way. But this was just my thoughts at the minute of how things are going. This was your boy F-O-O-T-I to the big E. Remember to like, share, subscribe. If it's the first time you've seen my videos, please hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate it, guys. And yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Bless and peace.